Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Today, instead of reading a book, we are going to explore a resource from one of my favorite websites from Greg Tang and his son, Greg Tang Jr. So Greg Tang and his son are mathematicians and they make lots of cool math things for kids. Greg Tang Sr. invented first in math, math 24, and tons more activities. And his son, Greg Tang Jr., has a website where he posts something called Tangy Tuesday. So he makes resource packs that you can do every Tuesday. Each one has five puzzles in it for your grade level. And I'm gonna show you what each puzzle looks like on his website. And then we're going to work on Kakuma, which is one of the games in each resource pack. So you can buy a subscription for these resource packs, but his website has three free samples of each grade level, um, Tangy Tuesday. So since it's Tuesday, I thought we could give one a try. Let's check it out on the computer. So if you log on to the Tang Math website, again, that's tangmath.com, okay? And then what Greg Jr. has is a bunch of puzzle packs. So we're gonna go into the Tangy Tuesday. So Tangy Tuesday puzzle packs you can subscribe to and purchase. Each one has five different math worksheets, but they're puzzle solving. They're not just problem after problem after problem, just practicing. So today I'm gonna to show you some of the free ones, okay? So we have free samples. We have four or three different Tangy Tuesday and one Word Wednesday. So today we're gonna to take a look at the grade one and the grade three free sample. So you can see here's what first grade looks like. So everyone has a digicross. Okay, which is a crossword puzzle with math. Snake, where you have to fill in each empty box in order using the clues. Numtanga, where you have to figure out what is in common between each different section of the box. Kakuma, okay, which is what we're gonna dive into more today. And finally, Equato, where you have to complete equations. So each puzzle pack has all five of those. So today we're gonna look at Kakuma, both for grade one and for grade three. Okay, so that was an example of all five puzzles that Greg Tang Math has for Tangy Tuesday. So today, like I said, we're gonna do Kakuma. So I pulled the grade one and the grade three Kakuma problem from the first free sample Tangy Tuesday pack. Um, it's up to you if you wanna use a paper and pencil to solve. I like to use a paper pencil. I don't have a printer at home. So you might wanna also get a piece of paper and a pencil, but you don't have to and we're going to solve them together. So let's get started. All right, so here is the grade one Kakuma. Okay, again, if you wanna pause right now and um, write any of this down or just make sure you have a piece of paper and pencil handy if you choose, go ahead. So to play Kakuma, you have to look at each group and in each group it says to circle the one number that is the sum or product of two other numbers. In first grade, it's always gonna be the sum, okay? So if you add two numbers, which two numbers in that box can you add together to get another number in the same box? Then you write the circle numbers in the final puzzle and then you solve from there. So let's try one together. You can go in any order, but I'm choosing to go ahead and start with the top one as you can see. So our strategy is to think, hmm, of these numbers, four, six, one, and three, which two numbers can be added together of in that box to make another number in that box. Hmm. One strategy is to always start with the lowest two numbers and see if they would add up to equal any of the other numbers in the box. So our lowest number is one and our second lowest number is three. Think, what is one plus three? Does that equal one of the other numbers in the box? It does. One plus three equals four and four is a number in the box. So I'm gonna write four Okay, in our first answer spot for the final puzzle. Now let's go on to the box on the right. Again, you can go in any order, I'm just going clockwise. Again, let's try our strategy of looking at the two smallest numbers. So we have two and six. Hmm, two plus six, what is that? Again, if you wanna pause and figure it out, you can. Well, two plus six is eight, and eight is another number in the box. So we're gonna write eight in our final puzzle spot down below. Okay, moving on to the third box. Let's try our strategy again of the two smallest numbers are two and three. And two plus three equals five. Five is a number in the box. Great, we'll add that into our final puzzle. And then the last box of four, okay, the two smallest numbers are three and nine. Three plus nine equals, again, you can pause if you want to, 12, which is a number in the box. So 12 is gonna go in the last spot of our final puzzle. 
All right, so in Kakuma, that's the first round. So you have to go through each box separately. Now we're gonna look at the final puzzle. Okay, the final puzzle has the same rules. Which two numbers can add up to equal um, another number in the box? Well, if I look at four, okay, if I look at our two smallest numbers, four and five, four and five make nine. Nine is not in the box. So it must not be our two smallest numbers in this one. Again, that's not always the rule. That was just a strategy that worked for us for the first few problems. Hmm. Let's try four and eight. Four plus eight is 12. It works. So since we found two numbers that added up to equal another number in the same box, our answer is 12. That's the first grade example. Now let's try a third grade example. As you can see, it looks a little different. We have six separate boxes, and each of them has six numbers, but the rules are still the same. You're looking for two numbers that are either a sum or, or sorry, two numbers that can either be added or multiplied together to create a sum or product that is another number in the same wheel. I will tell you that this one is still adding. Okay, they're all sums. We're not looking for multiplication yet in this one. All right, let's look at the first one. Let's try our strategy of the two um, smallest numbers. So one is the least and seven. Okay, and one plus seven equals eight, there it is. So eight is our first number that's gonna go in the final puzzle. All right, let's hop over again. I just like to go clockwise, you can go in any order. Let's look at the least number is one and the second um, smallest number is three. Add those together and you get, again, pause if you want to, four. And four is a number in the puzzle, so we're good there. That's our second spot in the final puzzle box. Now moving down to the third one, let's go ahead and highlight our two smallest numbers, two and three. Hmm, two plus three is five. I do not see five in there. So it looks like that cannot be a solution to this puzzle. So we're gonna have to use another strategy. Hmm, let's try three and six. Three and six equals nine. You know, it's looking like none of the other ones in that box are small enough to be a product if you use just some of the smallest numbers. So now I'm gonna look at the ones place. I'm noticing that there's a in there's 20, 14, and 15. One of those three has to be the sum. 14 has a four in the ones place, and it looks like no other numbers two together would add up to equal a four. 15 has a five in the ones place. Two and three make five, but we don't have another extra 10 in there. Hmm. 20 has a zero in the ones place. Ooh, if we find an, um, two ones places that have a combination of 10, that could work. Let's try 14 and six. If you wanna pause and see what 14 plus six is, you can. 14 plus six is 20. That works out. So 20 is our next number. Again, you could use guess and check to solve, or you can look in the ones place. When I saw that zero was the ones digit in the number 20, and I knew that the four in the ones digit of 14 plus six equaled 10, which has a zero in the ones place, I thought that that might be a good idea to try. All right, 20 goes in our final space. Let's look at the next one. Okay, again, we're gonna try our two smallest numbers as our strategy. You don't have to do it, but something I like to try. So six plus five, oh man, that equals 11. Hmm, 11's not on there. But I, now let's try to add I six plus other numbers. Let's see, six plus 19 would be the same as 20 plus five. So 25, that's not on there. Six plus 16, oh, six plus 16, that does equal 22, which is a number in our wheel. Okay, 22 is gonna go down there. We have two more and then our final one. So moving over to the left. Well, I know that one and three equals four and that's nowhere on there, but I am noticing that two numbers are only one apart, 17 and 16, and then one is another number option. So that means that one plus 16 should equal 17. 17 is our number for that box. So again, that's a different strategy using what we know about adding one. And our last wheel in the main puzzle, hmm, five and 11 are two smallest numbers and five plus 11 equals 16. So that one does work out. Okay, 16 goes in the last spot in the final puzzle. 
Now we're about to solve the final puzzle, just like with every other one. If you want to pause and try to solve this one on your own and then press play to check, you may. All right, hmm. let's try our same strategy of eight, um, the two smallest numbers, eight and four. They equal 12, 12 is not on there. Hmm. Let's look back at those ones places. I see a six and 16, I see a seven and 17, a two and 22, and a zero in 20. So I'm gonna look around for any other combinations that might add up to be that. Hmm. Well, it looks like every number except for 17 is even. So that means that since two even numbers added together equal an even, that means that 17 is not in the running. It's the only one that's odd, it won't fit. Let's try four and 16. I know that four and six make a 10, and I see that 20 does end with a zero in the ones place. Let's check, 16 plus four, yep, it equals 20. 20 is our final answer, and that's Kakuma. Okay, so that was Tangy Tuesday. The website that you can go on to find more free resource packs for Tangy Tuesday and to buy a subscription so that you can do Tangy Tuesday every week is www.tangmath.com. That is T-A-N-G-M-A-T-H.com. So feel free to go on there. They have lots of great stuff on the website. It's not just Tangy Tuesday and enjoy exploring. I miss you all. I can't wait to see you soon and I wish you well. Bye.